What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is uh, week one's reading for Virgo for the sign of for the sign of Virgo for January of 2022. This can resonate if you have birds in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, the moon, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is, excuse me, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I know I've only done six who's coming towards you so far. Um, I'm going to finish those up, but I feel guided to do Virgo um, week one's reading. So I'm doing it. Then I received a channel message. So it was confirmation from spiritual realm to do it. So I'm doing it. Apparently it needs to get out. So the channel message I received was, um, a uh, feminine Virgo's um, passive aggressiveness um, and maliciousness towards the Leo feminine is about to backfire. Um, I heard um, I heard that, and then like 45 seconds after that, or a minute after that, I heard um, calling and recording to um, board energy, but it's about to backfire in a huge way. There's way more to the story. So. Um, you plug it in however that resonates um however that resonates um whoever these people are it's a virgo fem and a leo fem i'll tell you that um it's pulling up in your reading virgo so i'm assuming one of you guys is doing this to a leo fem i'm presuming if it's not you it could be another virgo fem attached to you or connected to you in some shape form or fashion um but um it's a Virgo fem and a Leo fem. So if it's not you, Virgs, it might be another Virgo, Virgo fem connected to you. Um, the Virgo fem could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Hamilton, Jupiter charts. Leo fem could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Hamilton, Jupiter charts. But heard the Virgo fem is extremely passive, aggressive, and secretly malicious towards the Leo feminine. So much so, they're calling and reporting this Leo feminine. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to, to some kind of board energy. But I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way because there's way much more to the story. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And when this Virgo learns it, it's going to shock them. And they're going to turn around and create many, 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 many series of shame events for other people. Negative series of shame events. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, it turns out, sounds like it might be an ending. Well, I don't know. Sounds like it's karma coming around. Sounds like it's going to be karmic cycling coming around. Because I heard once the Virgo learns the story. So I heard there's way more to the story. So they're about to report this Leo feminine to a board. I mean, that's serious. Board reporting is serious. Now, whatever board they're reporting this Leo feminine to, there's many boards out in the universe, but it's something important. I'll tell you that it could be, I'll use nursing as an example, because I'm a nurse. It could be board of nursing. It could be board of physical therapy. It could be board of medical directors. It could be board of education, board of, I don't know, board of something else. Um, there's many boards is what I'm trying to say. Many. Um, but apparently this Virgo Femme doesn't know the whole story, but when the, they call to report, it sounds like when they call to report this Leo film for something. Now, whatever in the world they're reporting for, I did not hear what they're reporting for. Um, spirit, spiritual realm only gives what the spiritual realm wants to give. So I didn't hear what in the world they're going to report this Leo feminine for. But it's something they're trying to take their job or their career or a license or they're trying to do something negatively to this Leo film. I'm telling you that right now. I heard they're secretly spiteful and passive aggressive towards them. But the but the Virgo Femme does not know the whole story. It sounds like once they report this Leo Feminine to the board, whatever board they're about to report them to, they're going to get the story. They're going to get the full story. But I heard once they get the full story, it's going to create other series, negative series of chain of events for other people. So the karmic wheel is going to turn. Because the Virgo is going to learn, the Virgo film, heard it's the Virgo feminine. 
once they find out the full story, I'm assuming from somebody in this board or department of the board, whatever board it is, um, I'm presuming that's where they're going to find out the information. Now, they might find out the whole story from someone else, possibly. But once I heard once they learn the whole story, whoever they learn it from, whether it's a call from the board or someone in the board or someone else, it's going to turn a right cycle or karma's going to cycle around because they're going to realize the whole story and it's going to be clear to them. And I heard they're going to start creating other many, basically a ton of many other negative series of chain of events for other people. So I think other people that maybe was putting negative gossip in this Virgo's ear about this Leo film or telling this Virgo film lies about the Leo film to cause them to want to call so much so that they want to call and report them to a board. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm feeling those are the two ways it can go, but you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my goodness, that is so strong. Heavy Virgo feminine energy in here. Two of Pentacles upright. Nine of Wands upright. Seven of Cups reversed. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. So it could be you getting a huge wake up call or someone you're connected to getting a huge wake up call. It could be about something in here or something in your personal life or both. You plug it in, however, that resonates with some kind of wake up, wake up call energy. Now, wake up call energy is like epiphany, light bulb moment energy, um, aha moment energy, that kind, that kind of energy. Just to let you know. Uh, just saying. Um, two of Pentacles upright, nine of Wands reversed, seven of Cups reversed. A Virgo is about to get much clarity on a relationship soon. For some Virgos, they thought there was one third party, but they're about to learn. For one, at least one Virgo, there is a fourth party too. Oh my God. What the crap, man? This is terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. So if this resonates with you, you're in a relationship of some sort, some sort, some shape, form, or fashion. It could be a, you know, a girlfriend, boyfriend, a fiance, or marriage. But I heard you knew there was a third party. So if this resonates with you, you know there's a third party. But what you don't know is there's a fourth party for at least one of you guys. But you're about to find this out soon. So, however you find it out, I don't know if your partner, that's not much of a partner, that's not a partner, that's not a partner. Somebody that puts you in any kind of third party situation is not a real man or real woman, I'll tell you that. They're not a real man or real woman. I feel somebody needs to hear that. Well, to me, that's just decreasing self-respect, or self-respect staying in that kind of relationship. And I'm serious, it really is. It's decreasing your self-respect and self-worth. But, of course, everybody has free will, and you can choose to stay in that if you want to. I think it's disgusting, but you plug it in how it resonates. But, um, so, you know your partner's cheating, juggling. You know they're cheating. You haven't stood up for yourself in the past with the third party because you knew about the third party. But you're about to get clarity. Seven of Cups reversed. Upright, this is confusion. Reversed, it's clarity. So, you're about to get clarity on the fourth party for some. So, I think what has happened here is just, you haven't set your boundaries. You haven't set your boundaries in the relationship. You didn't stand up for yourself when there was a third party. So I think your partner just thought, oh, okay, well, they're okay with that. Then I can have a fourth party too. Next month, they might have a fifth party for all you know. I mean, if you don't stand up for yourself, they might have a little mini basketball team of side hoes. And I'm, I mean, I hate to say that. 
I feel like somebody might need to hear that. This is terrible. A particular Virgo is about to get a huge wake-up call about freedom of religion and spirituality. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. My gosh. Heard it. That's strong. Heard a spirit message you should have signed a Virgo. I heard a particular Virgo is about to get a huge wake-up call about freedom of religion and spirituality. That is what I heard. That is a strong message right there. That's from the spiritual realm. One of you guys is getting about, uh, about to get a huge wake-up call about freedom of religion and spirituality. So maybe you are pissed that somebody you know in some shape, form, or fashion has a certain religion or spiritual preference. Well, that's what I'm feeling for at least one of you guys. But I, I'm here to tell you. Everybody has freedom for a religion. Everybody does. Every single person does. They have freedom of religion, you guys. Freedom to worship whatever in the craft they want to worship or choose not to worship. That is one of the beauties of living in the United States of America. Freedom of religion. For if anybody needs to hear that. Now, spirituality is included in religion. You can be spiritual or you can be religious. If you're religious, you were spiritual as well, absolutely. Or you can just choose to be spiritual. I choose to just be spiritual, but that is included in freedom of religion because you believe, like spirituality, you believe in God. You believe in God. You just don't like the religious part and societal pressure of religions and the cultist type behavior and the crazy manipulation that goes on in some religious organizations so you can believe in god over here with spirituality or buddha or Ra or whoever you want to um you believe in as a spiritual god type deity or what have you um i believe in god but you know what have you i'm just saying i mean that's the difference if anybody needs to hear that i don't feel like i i don't feel like i explained that 100 percent um clear but um that is basically the gist of it but i heard one of you guys is getting um about to get basically a huge boom bazinga moment about freedom of religion and spirituality absolutely you can believe in god and be spiritual or Ra, or buddha or confucius or whoever your preference over here and not be religious in a church or religious organization type area. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, I feel like somebody might need to hear that. Freedom of religion, people. Freedom of religion. I mean, would you like it if somebody tried to control who you worshipped? Or who you married? Or who you, um, who you did business with? Or who you were around all the time? No, you would not like that. That includes religion, if anybody needs to hear that. And spirituality includes freedom of religion. King of Wands upright, Princess of Wands upright, the Empress reversed. Two fire sign friends are about to come towards the Virgo very soon, loyal friends, and tell them some about someone about to go to jail for drugs for some, someone you know, and for some, your ex-partner is pregnant their own drugs 
Oh my God, a lot of drug energy. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible if this resonates for you. I, I'm sorry for whoever this is for, um, if this resonates. So two fire sign friends, I heard. If this resonates for you, you have two fire sign friends. I feel this is your two fire sign friends. Um, it could be one masculine or one feminine or a femme that takes on heavy masculine or masculine takes on heavy femme. But I do feel for a lot of you guys, it's probably one masculine, one feminine, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard specifically from spirit, fire sign friends. So they could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. And um, I heard they've been your friends for a while. So I think they're true. I heard true loyal friends. So they're true loyal, like ride or die people. They're ride or dies, which those are the best type of people because you know they will never betray you. You know you can trust them. And you know they will always be there for you 100%. Those are the best kind of people. They really are. Um, and they're two fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I heard they're about to come toward you. For some of you guys, they're about to tell you about someone you know um, that is about to go to jail in their own drugs. So um, whoever this person is in your life, um, I feel they could currently still be. Well, I don't think they're currently in your energetic space because your friends are about to come tell you about them. So I feel you know them, but you haven't been around them for a while is what I'm feeling for some. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. And, and then the other situation, um, the fire sign friends are about to come tell you about an ex-partner um, that is pregnant, but they're, they're on drugs. So um, for some, one situation can resonate. For some, two plus, both situations can resonate. For some, no, none of the situations could, re could resonate. Sorry, I can't speak tonight. So you plug it in however it resonates, but um, these are your fire sign friends. Aries, Leo, Sag. They can have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, Hammer, Jupiter. And this is your uh, um, person that you know, but I don't feel you're connected with them probably for a while for some on drugs, and for some, it's your ex-partner on drugs. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, let's get an oracle. Oh, actually, no. I feel guided to get to do one more of these. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Virgo. A Virgo is about to get gifted a fishing rod, a very, very, very nice fishing rod. They are about to be shocked. Wow, holy crap, Virgo. You go with your bad self, whoever that's for. I heard, a, uh, whoever you are, I heard you're about to get gifted a very nice fishing rod. I heard specifically very nice. So, you know, it's not no little, I'm presuming it's not like no $25 zip code for Walmart. I, I mean, it's a hella, probably a hella nice fishing rod. So congrats to whoever that is for. Just saying, just saying. Now we are December 27th of 2021. So um, it might be a late Christmas gift for some of you guys is what I'm presuming. Congrats, man. I wish that was me. Just saying. That's cool. The Hierophant Reverse, King of Cups Reverse, the Sun Upright. A Virgo is about to break a contract. Some with one water sign, some with two water signs very soon. And then they're going to turn around and sue them false contract boss moves wow so you plug it in how it resonates some a tauren is included and a libra okay so you plug it in how it resonates holy crap false moves to um virgo and some of cancer is included. Okay. So for some of you guys, it's one water sign included. For some, two water signs included. For some, a Taurus. For some, a Cancer. For some, a Libra. And did I miss anybody? I think that was it. Um, I think that was it. Yeah. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, 
some one one water sign, some two water signs. Water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They can have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Methane, or Jupiter. For some, a Taurus is included. For some, a um, oh my God, a Taurus is included. Oh, a Libra is included, and a Cancer is included, and a Leo for some, and a Leo for some, and a Leo. So, um, but I heard it's a false contract. It was a false contract. So you're going to break this contract with this person or people. For some, it could be one person in this false contract you were in this false contract with. For some, it could be two plus. You, I mean, there was a lot of signs in there, so you have to plug it in however it resonates in your own life. But I heard you're about to break the contract with these people because you know it's a false contract or you're about to learn it's a false contract, however that resonates. Um, and then you're going to turn around and sue them. Hashtag boss moves, man. You go with your bad self. Absolutely, freaking lutely man. You go with your bad self. So, um, breaking the false contract. That's your water sign, water signs, Taurin, Libran, Virgo. I mean, not Virgo. Taurin, Libran, Cancer, or Leo. Um, and it's going to make you happy to do it. I heard you're going to turn around and sue them. And you absolutely freaking lutely should. You absolutely should, man. Anybody put you in any kind of false contract? I think for some, you're about to learn. Now, for some, you might already know this, that it's a false contract. And you're, because everybody's on a different time in life pass. And so you might be in the process of turning around and suing them soon. For some, you're, I feel you're about to learn it's a false contract. Then you're going to turn around and sue them. But for some, I feel you're about to learn this possibly from this reporting of bo this board energy. Because you think this is going to go one way, but it's going to go a completely different way because you don't know the truth on this. Um, on this Leo Femme, apparently. You don't know the truth on the Leo Femme, but you're about to learn it, I think, from this board energy. Or somebody connected to the board energy. Or somebody that knows you're about to report her to the board. However that resonates. But I, for some, I feel you're going to learn it from this, is what I'm feeling. Now, for some, maybe not. But you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. But however that resonates and plugs in your life, breaking this false contract is going to make you super freaking happy. And for some, you could be dealing with a, another Leo, possibly, or a Tauren, because we have Taurus energy and Leo energy strong in here. If you are, they could have um, Taurus or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, or Jupiter. Um, how that resonates in your life. For some, a Taurus and a Leo have huge have a huge deal to do with this as far as illuminating the truth. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay, so I heard, sorry about that, teenagers. Um, so I heard for some, um, for some of you guys, I tore another Taurus and a Leo, another Leo, because there was a lot of signs in here in this false contract energy. But it sounds like another Taurus and another Leo are going to be very integral as far as illuminating the truth, the sun card. This is happiness or illumination as far as illuminating the real truth. So I think you're about to learn it from a Tauren, a Leo, another Tauren, another Leo, or another Tauren in Leo. However, that resonates. They could have Taurus or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hebrew, Jupiter. Wow. Okay. Let's pull an oracle. We got flow on the bottom of the deck. So I think you might be in your workflow or you might be um, flowing in the money or you might be about to be flowing in the money or about to be heavy workflow or some kind of flow energy in your life. For some, it could be um, like, like a more work-life balance, like the one that's about to get the very nice um, fishing rod you might incorporate more work-life balance in um, fishing time in your life, possibly. Um, so, you know, giving your life more balance, basically, besides um, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy, or no work and all play makes you broke and um, not able to go nowhere, you know, kind of energy. Spirit messages you have for Santa Virgo.
purification on the bottom. So I think this is lies, um, purification of lies. Um, and that's a lot, that's coming in very strong in here, purification of lies. So the truth, the truth basically. And you have that in, I wanna show you, you have that in this one, you're gonna learn the real truth with this reporting energy, you're gonna learn the real truth and then turn around and create negative series of chain events for I think the people that lied to your butt, which is the truth coming out. truth coming out from your fire, your fire sign friends um, about a bunch of drug people and truth coming out about a false contract. So a lot of truth coming out, a lot. Spirit messages you have sign of Virgo. And truth coming out that you're about to file a lawsuit on one punk or two plus punks. We got acceptance reversed. Starry night acceptance, but it came, excuse me, it came in reverse. A Virgo is about to learn a lot of cold hard truth soon. It's about to be very, very hard to take. For some Virgos, but they are going to turn it around in their favor. Some are going to visit someone they haven't visited in a long time. Finally. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, this is deep, Virgo. So if this resonates with you, I heard you're about to learn some cold hard truths. Some like, it sounds like it's going to be hard to take truth. Hard to take truth. Um, it's going to be hard to swallow, basically. Um, however this resonates in your life and who, however it applies. But it's going to be some hard freaking truth. It's going to be hard to swallow, basically. Hard to swallow pill. But I heard, basically, once you learn this truth, and it sounds like you're about to learn it soon. I mean, you've got it coming in all over the place in here. All of, all of these are some type of truth of some shape, form, or fashion. But, um... For some, one could resonate. For some, two plus. For some, none. But however that resonates, it's a lot of freaking truth. And it sounds like it's going to be very hard to swallow for some of you guys. But I heard basically once you learn it all, I think you're going to sit down, take a breather, or take it all in. But then I heard you're going to take some action. You're going to take some action. And it sounds like one of these action, um, well, one of the actions is a lawsuit, just for real. But I think another form of action is you visiting someone I heard you have not visited in a long time. So you have not seen this person or people in a long time. So I'm thinking years. I'm thinking years. I'm serious. I'm thinking years. I'm thinking for some, it could be years. So I'm thinking two plus years. For some, it could be two years. For some, it could be three years. For some, it could be 33 years, but a long time. Um, but you are going to go, it sounds like you are going to initiate and go visit them because you're learning such cold hard truth and such clarity. I feel you're going to feel compelled to go visit them. Um, I think for some, it's going to be healing. I think it's going to be healing because I think you were, I mean, a Virgo was just lied to, um, on at least two of these situations, just cold hard lied to. Um, but I think this is going to bring healing in some shape, form or fashion is what I'm feeling. So even though it was hard um, to accept, I think you're going to, in the end, because I heard you're going to turn it around and go visit this person or people. So I think after this visit with person or people, however it plugs in your life, it's going to make you accept things better is what I'm feeling. I think this is going to be a healing visit or visits, how this resonates. Number 41 could be a very significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 41. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. It also could be a possible date of birth number, social security number, green card number, lottery number, um, jersey number, etc. Number 41. It also could be a significant reoccurring number you're seeing out on advertisements or billboards, possibly. 41. Very healing visit. It's going to create many other positive series of chain events. It's going to have this Virgo thinking much more clearer, clearly. 
Okay, well, you plug it in. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. I was feeling it was a healing visit, but that's confirmation from spirit. So I heard um, this visit is going to be very healing. Now, whether you make one visit in your life or two plus visits, however that plugs in your life, but I heard it's going to be a very healing visit and it's going to give you much more clarity. So you are, you've been around some people, whoever you are, uh, if, the, if this resonates for you, you've been around some people that has lied to you in a huge ass way, basically. They have just snowed you over with some crazy crap. Um, but this visit or visits is about to give you lots of clarity. And I heard it's going to be very healing for you. And it's going to create many other positive series of chain of events that's going to be positive in your life. It could be for you or this other person or people you're about to visit, possibly. Um, so I think in the end, oh, I'm sorry. In the end, it's going to create acceptance upright. Is what I'm feeling. So you plug it in, however that resonates. If it resonates, sorry, it ran so long. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped you. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.